Following the failure by Justice Minister Nobat Mao to table constitution amendments early this week, the former lead of opposition, Mathias Simpoga, says he's ready to move constitutional amendments and electoral reforms. Today, Nyendo Mukungwe MP Mpoga said he will seek leave of parliament next week to formally table a set of the constitution amendment. So if you, you don't want to do this, so where do you want us to go? Are you for armed rebellion? Are you for um, civil disobedience? Then go for it. The one thing I will not do is simply look on and wait for somebody to come from nowhere and do what I don't know. Mboga says his area of focus in the constitution amendment. I bring three bills in that structure and form. Then we shall be able to take care of the naysayers, those who say we don't have time because the parliament has time. A lot of governments have time. His proposals are going to focus on the restoration of the term limits, which should be entrenched. Also provide for an upper parliament with a maximum of 39 members, but chaired by the deputy president who will be voted into office and not appointed by the president as it is now. We're a monk, a burn a forest where it is domiciled, I'm looking at the bigger picture. In other electoral reforms, he proposes that a registered vote can go to court and challenge the outcomes of the presidential results as well as having a presidential results being declared at the district level. If a candidate is aggrieved after a presidential election, they can go to court and we, enl we enlarge the time available for the candidate to go to court. The Opposition Commission of Parliament says he has had and will continue to engage with other opposition players to advance his proposals. Mboga would want to see Ugandans living in the diaspora and prisoners exercise their voting rights. It was also unconstitutional not to make provision for prisoners to vote. So I want to propose amendments to the Electoral Commission's Act to make way for the possibility of diaspora people and prisoners to vote. Asked if the parliament that is full of NRM sympathizers will be able to accept these reforms, Mboga is optimistic that his proposals are intended to improve the democratization process of the country. This is the conversion of citizens for better governance. It's not a preserve all politicians. Politicians have a duty to lead. They have an obligation to be honest about possibilities. He adds that if Justice Minister Nobat Mao also goes on to table his constitution amendments, they will tussle it out at the committee stage in Parliament. The event that Mr. Mao and others have their own bills, we shall meet in the committee of Parliament and see what they have. There is no contradiction. In the 10th Parliament, Ndora East MP Wilfred Niwagaba attempted to move similar constitutional amendments and electoral reforms. However, his efforts were frustrated by the House, saying they had come in late or closer to the election period. What awaits to be seen is whether the proposals of Umpoga will be given audience in a House dominated by government supporters.